Oprah Winfrey is known worldwide and is one of the most famous television personalities. Stay tuned as we delve into her life, career and, of course, her automobiles. Oprah Winfrey was born in Kosciuszko in Mississippi on January the 29th, 1954. She is an American television personality, actress and businesswoman whose syndicated daily talk show was one of the genre's most popular. She rose to become one of America's wealthiest and most powerful women. At the age of six, Winfrey went to Milwaukee, Wisconsin to live with her mother. She moved to live with her father in Nashville when she was in her early teens and he proved to be a beneficial influence on her life. Winfrey began her career as a news anchor for local CBS television station when she was just 19 years old. She became a reporter and co-anchor for the ABC News affiliate in Baltimore, Maryland, after graduating from Tennessee State University in 1976. She became co-host of the Baltimore morning show People Are Talking in 1977 after being confined by the neutrality needed of news reporting. Winfrey succeeded in the relaxed and personal talk show format and she relocated to Chicago in 1984 to host the struggling talk show AM Chicago. The Opera Winfrey show was named in 1985 after Winfrey's honest and engaging personality made the show a success. The show became the highest rated television talk show in the United States after being syndicated nationally in 1986 and it won multiple Emmy Awards. On top of that, she is an actress. In 1985, Winfrey starred in Steven Spielberg's adaptation of Alice Walker's novel The Colour Purple, which was published in 1982. A critically acclaimed performance landed her numerous opportunities, including in the television miniseries The Woman of Brewster Place. In 1986, Winfrey founded Harpo Productions Incorporated, a television production company, and Harpo Films, a film production company, in 1990. The firms began purchasing film rights to literary works, such as Connie Mae Fowler's Before Women Had Wings, which was released in 1997 and starred Winfrey, as well as Toni Morrison's Beloved, which was released in 1998 and again starred Winfrey. In 1996, Winfrey made history by launching an on-air book club. She revealed the books two to four weeks ahead of time and then had a small group of people on her show to debate them. Each book chosen soon soared to the top of the bestsellers list and Winfrey had a huge impact on the publishing business. With the hugely successful debut of O, the opera magazine in 2000 and O at home in 2004, Winfrey further expanded her footprint in the publishing sector. The latter went bankrupt in 2008, while O, the opera magazine, was rebranded in 2020 after ceasing print publishing. Opera Daily became the digital product and O Quarterly, a four times a year print edition, was launched. Winfrey expanded her media and entertainment empire in 1998 when she co-founded Oxygen Media, a woman's cable television network. On satellite radio, the Opera and Friends station started in 2006. In 2008, she forged a deal with Discovery Communications and the Opera Winfrey Network, also known as OWN, took over the Discovery Health Channel in January 2011. Winfrey declared in 2009 that her television chat show would stop in 2011 and that she would concentrate on OWN. The Opera Winfrey show aired its final episode in May 2011 and Opera's next chapter, a weekly primetime interview show on OWN, premiered in January 2012. Her life now appears to be ideal, but her upbringing was terribly difficult and painful. She was born to a teenage woman who raised her for several years with her maternal grandmother. Winfrey lived in terrible poverty at the time and wore clothes made of potato sacks to school. Winfrey stayed with her grandmother until she was six years old when she returned to her mother. Following the transfer, Winfrey suffered both physical and sexual assault. Her cousin raped her when she was nine years old, followed by a family acquaintance and an uncle. For a few years, the sexual abuse continued. At the age of 14, Winfrey became pregnant and gave birth to a son, but unfortunately he died. She subsequently moved in with her father and stepmother, where she successfully turned her life around and excelled in school. The world is changed by strong women. 
and opera does it with her work and passion for improving the world and protecting the victims. Despite going through numerous painful, traumatic events, she has emerged as a great and powerful woman capable of accomplishing anything she desires. She can also drive anything she wants. Opera Winfrey, the popular UK talk show host, is known for giving out brand new automobiles to her audience. But how many cars does she own herself? Opera Winfrey has at least five cars, according to the most recent information on the subject. The TV host buys, sells and donates cars on a regular basis, making it difficult to keep track of her current collection, although the newest information reveals she owns only five cars. With that said, let's have a peek at her car collection. These are the cars we can see in Opera Winfrey's garage. Number 5. The Tesla Model S The Tesla Model S is the first automobile on our list and it is one of Opera's greatest and most ecologically friendly vehicles. While this model is similar to its predecessor in many aspects, it is superior in others. The Tesla S model is more efficient, has sharper performance and is more comfortable. A predictive configuration system is one of the aspects that distinguishes a Tesla as a capable electric vehicle. It can, in essence, adjust itself to the conditions of the road you're on. Opera Winfrey enthusiastically test drove and purchased her new Tesla in 2015, posting three images on Instagram. She informed fans that she loves it. The four-door electric vehicle accelerates to 60 miles an hour in 2.3 seconds and can go 348 miles before requiring recharging. Oprah has been a vocal advocate for environmental problems, which may explain why she chose a Tesla over a gas-powered vehicle. At the time of the star's acquisition, the luxurious car cost between $70,000 and $100,000. Number 4. The Cadillac Escalade Oprah has been spotted multiple times getting into and out of the back seat of a black Cadillac Escalade in recent years. Oprah was driving to a restaurant in 2014 when her driver accidentally ran over a woman's foot. Oprah sprang out of the car, concerned, and gave aid to the woman, putting her arm around the obvious fan, who seemed even more surprised by her accidental meeting with the celebrity. The celebrity came to a halt long enough for a fan to capture a photo of the two of them together. Oprah's four-wheel drive luxury vehicle is a high-powered SUV capable of reaching 60 miles an hour in under six seconds. The latest Cadillac Escalade model costs roughly $70,000. Number three, the Mercedes-Benz E-Class Coupe. You will be captivated by the design. Like a dear friend, the infotainment system recognises you. The high levels of comfort allow you to appreciate every moment of your journey. Perfect for taking on daily difficulties in elegance, as well as dynamically and comfortably. The E-Class Coupe is a tradition that continues to evolve. The art of driving is elevated in a sophisticated manner, while intuitive technology advances the state of the art. Sensual, sensible and standard features include a motorised panorama roof, 64-colour cabin illumination and heated front seats. All of your senses can be soothed with options like ventilated front seats and cabin aromatherapy. According to reports, Oprah has a Mercedes-Benz E-Class Coupe that isn't exactly sporty. With a 0 to 60 miles an hour time of 7.2 seconds, Oprah may have chosen this make and model for comfort rather than speed. The car's most recent model costs roughly $60,000. Number 2. The Lincoln Navigator Another luxurious SUV that Oprah is said to own is the Lincoln Navigator. With 450 horsepower and a 0 to 60 miles an hour time of 5.9 seconds, this powerful four-wheel drive vehicle is noted for its luxurious interior and smooth driving. Models from the last few years start at about $75,000. Since the 1998 model year, the Lincoln Navigator has been a full-size luxury SUV manufactured and sold by Ford Motor Company's Lincoln brand. The Navigator is the Lincoln version of the Ford Expedition and it is mostly sold in North America. While it is not the brand's longest vehicle, 
It is the heaviest production Lincoln ever manufactured. It's also the Lincoln with the most cargo space and the first non-limousine Lincoln with seats for more than six passengers. Number one, the 1954 Mercedes-Benz 300 SL Gullwing. Oprah owns a classic and stylish 1954 Mercedes-Benz with vertically opening doors, but she sold it a few years ago for unknown reasons. Before it ended up in Oprah's garage, the racing red automobile belonged to the rich DuPont family. However, in 2014 she auctioned the car and sold it for a stunning $605,000, which is still below the car's estimated value. Oprah may or may not own additional automobiles. The actress prefers to keep her personal life private and she does not appear to brag about her expensive purchases. Oprah has owned a private plane since 1991, according to public records. An incident with an aggressive fan drove her to purchase a private jet. That's what she said in an interview with Vogue. You're not acting like you do on TV, the fan angrily informed Oprah, according to her. According to the fan, Oprah should be hugging strangers in the airport and acting as she does on her successful show, The Oprah Winfrey Show. Oprah, who was merely sitting in the airport minding her own business, decided she no longer wanted to fly on commercial jets with the general public. Finally, I'd like to share one of my favorite quotes from the star of today's video. Be thankful for what you have. You'll end up having more. If you concentrate on what you don't have, you will never ever have enough. People have a tendency to focus on what they don't have rather than noticing and appreciating what they do have. Because, believe me, what we have is far superior to what we lack. You will generate more of whatever you concentrate on. If you focus on fear and shortage, you'll attract more of these things into your life. Being grateful for what you have is the finest approach to live a full and prosperous life. Thank you for watching this episode. If you want to see other celebrity car collections, let me know in the comments below. Please make sure you like and subscribe to this video and channel, since that'll help us make more content like this for you to enjoy.